Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution, everybody. Alright, we're going back to the campaign. Yes, I did make a couple decks in between episodes, which should be uh, pretty fun, I guess. We're gonna do this and switch and, oh my god, shocker, dueling Yu-Gi again. This is crazy. So crazy. So, I actually made a Harpy deck, and obviously I want to keep it as a surprise to all of you, because I'll just tell you right now, they're not gonna be that great, I don't think. This random one, I should have actually named it Volcanic, because it's like Volcanic, but also just Pyro and Burn in general. I don't know how, but I'm just doing some fun decks. Again, the intention is not for me to make them super amazing. Although the Harpy one seems pretty good, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. It's like Harpy slash Wind, because I ran out of cards. Like, I don't have three copies of every card that I need. And I also fixed up the Water deck, which is, um... Wait, hold on, let me, let me filter. These, yeah. I fixed up the water deck as well, so hopefully that one looks, you know, nice. Uh, we're gonna go with Harpy. Let's do Harpy. Try Blaze Acceler, that's funny, because, you know, literally just made a part volcanic deck. So we'll see how this goes. I have no idea if it's gonna go uh, pretty good or pretty bad. I'm gonna go second. I'll go second this time. Let's see here. There's some water. Pretty freaking hot over here in Southern California right now. It's like about 91 degrees. Oh my god. Oh, wonderful. Starting with Pot of Greed, everyone's favorite card. King's Knight. When this card's almost the one you control, Queen's Knight. Well, at least I don't get the effect. Okay. So, here's Harpy deck, right? Elegant Egotist is great. Let's use Special Summon Harpy, ladies, or the hand or deck. Uh, Harpy's Hunting Ground is honestly pretty awesome um, however the effect is mandatory gotta keep that in mind and I say this because I actually have a plan of what I can do with this but it's important to know how many cards are currently available or how many cards are set for example I can activate hunting ground then do harpy lady one as a summon to trigger hunting ground and destroy this then I can elegant egotist into harpy lady sisters but by doing that I would actually pop my own harpy's hunting ground which I don't really want to do so instead, the smarter choice would probably be to go ahead and summon um, just a regular Harpy Lady first. Let's see if this, if this even goes through. It did. Then we can activate Harpy's Hunting Ground. Okay. Then we can do Elegant Egotist to bring out a Harpy Lady Sisters from the deck. Put you right there. And now we can go ahead and use the effect of Harpy's Hunting Ground. I mean, we have to. To pop a card. Oh, but you still got me. You still got me. Well played. I mean, I'm still gonna do a lot of damage this turn. It's fine. But that's interesting. I can also XC summon. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'll show off the extra deck later. But I think this deck is overall gonna be pretty good. I think. We'll see. So that's minus 650 and then minus 1600 with Harpy Lady 1. <laughs> wow. Okay. You discard that Karibo. That's right. End phase. So I have a Fissure, a Harpy Harpist. Yeah, I'm missing a couple of cards. I don't have Harpy Channeler. Um, I'm not even sure that card came out when this game came out. I'm pretty sure. What the heck? Oh my god, you're bringing out a Dark Magician from the deck. That's crazy. Uh, I don't have Harpy Oracle. I don't have Harpy Perfumer. I do have two copies of Harpy Channeler, two Harpy Queens. I have three Harpy Lady 1, one Harpy Lady Sister. So pretty good stuff here and there. Uh, we'll just see. Why did you... Shouldn't you have to destroy Harpy Lady 1 for that... That boost can be very, very annoying. That is not what I wanted to freaking... Oh my god. Harpy's Pet Dragon. Well, you know, I only have that because of Harpy Channeler, in case you're wondering. Uh, let's have a Fissure. So this one says that it becomes Harpy Lady while on the field or in the graveyard. That's most Harpies. Um, and you can only activate each of these effects uh, once per turn. When it's normal summon, you can target a Winged Beast type monster you control and one other. Or, um... Or one other face of monster your opponent controls and return him to the hand. And during the end phase, if it's in, if it's in the graveyard because it was sent to this turn, you can add a level four wing beast type monster with 300 or less attack and protect your hand. Cool. Um, I can do this, bounce my own harpy lady, and then do that, or I can just go ahead and go the fissure route. That works too. I mean, you left your field pretty wide open, so I'll do that. Um, let's go ahead and just normal summon a bird face. I'll go with that. It does get a buff. That's pretty good. I'm not going to XC summon yet. I don't really feel the need to do that quite yet. Okay. And then... There we go. 
Oh, by the way, if I use Harpy, uh, Harpist, that would have been 100 more damage. It would have been at 75 life points, which is ridiculous, but... Oh, that's it? Okay, that was actually incredibly easy. Well, that means I'm gonna definitely use this deck a couple times. There's Hysteric Sign. I'm not even gonna read Hysteric Sign to all of you right now. That'll probably come up in the next duel. But it's a good card. It's a very good card. Alright, so we won that duel. Let's go ahead and use and do it again. Because we didn't really steal that much going on there. We beat him pretty fast. Royal Knight of the Ice Barrier, that card is terrible. <laughs> Tribute Summon and then give your opponent a resource. Wonderful. A 2,000 attack monster that needs to be Tribute Summon to then give your opponent a token. Wow. That's terrible. Okay, got some new cards here. That's, uh, that's not bad, but I'm curious to see what I'm actually going to draw here. Because this alone is not too... Oh, wait, no, I'm going first. Oh, my God, I was waiting for this guy to do his turn. I was... Oh, Jesus, man. Okay. Hysteric Party, you discard a card and you special summon as many copies of Harpy Lady as possible. Specifically Harpy Lady, but a lot of cards do become Harpy Lady in the graveyard, which is nice. There's also Harpy's Hunting Ground. And there's this one. If you control a Wind Wing Beast monster until the end of this turn, negate any monster effects your opponent activates. If you control a Harpy monster, you can activate this card from your hand. If this card and its owner's spell and trap zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can add one Harpy's card to destroy from your hand, from your dagger grave at your hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and set a bird face. I kinda want you to destroy this. It's honestly a little risky activating Harpy's hunting ground because what if I Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna just set one. And pass. It's kind of a kind of a weak first turn, but oh well. Okay, I kind of want you to destroy it, though. That's the thing. The Claw of Heramos. Okay. Bringing out what Goddess Bow. Okay. Not totally sure what that does, but I'll... Oh, jeez. Um, I mean, I'll get a Harpy's Feather Duster. Sure. Give me a free... Har I do have a Harpy's Feather Duster in, the, in this deck. You know, fitting it in theme with this deck here battle phase and you're actually not going to kill me what is your effect though i really have to read that very soon because i don't really know what it does Ooh, i got that one okay uh blah, 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 whatever if this card is special summon target one other face a monster in the field equip this card to it well this card is equipped to that monster negate it's negate the first effect active your point during each battle phase also after that that equip monster good it's kind of it's kind of underpowered to be honest okay this is Cataclysmic Cryonic Call, it's part of the Charmer slash Familiar Possessed series of monsters. Um, if a face of one monster you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you can place one spell or trap from the field on top of the deck. That's the thing with wind monsters, cards like, I mean even even uh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, it's like wind themed. Uh, Rise of the Storm Monarch is like that. A lot of wind cards actually, you know, spin cards, you know, to the top of the deck, so that's kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna normal summon this thing too, this Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon. Uh, we're gonna change to attack, um, and we're going to, you know what, let's just go ahead and activate this card to give me a 200 more attack, sure. Now we're going to enter battle phase. Okay, so I can kill that thing. I don't know why you went ahead and went with that, knowing that I had zero face-up monsters. Why would you do that, you know? We're gonna end a turn here. Uh, not bad, but uh, luckily I've done a uh, done plenty of reading now. I think you kind of get the premise of this deck a little bit. But if we kind of oh my god, these people keep breaking. Like what in the world? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, this is the problem. That's why I kind of didn't want to actually. S oh my god. Well, I got to destroy my own card. Is it worth it? I uh, probably. It's fine. I'd rather just do a lot of damage to be honest. That's a mandatory effect. Got to pop one. That's it. And then we will also set this and we will proceed to battle. I haven't needed to uh, summon from the extra deck yet, so I think we're good here. Oh, by the way, I have one other Harpy card now. So Harpy's Pepe Dra Baby Dragon gets its first effect, which is. What's actually the first effect? Your opponent cannot target Harpy onto your control for attacks except this one. And then with two, you double the original attack and defense. And then three, once per turn, you can uh, target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Nice. It becomes pretty good once we have two. At one, it's not that great because opponents can just attack Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon, which is 
in most cases pretty lackluster, you know? But okay, that basically gives me the game because I can Harpy's Feather Duster. Blow that up and that is going to be game right there. Just like that. Okay. I win. I'm gonna keep using this Harpy deck because we haven't really seen enough. This is actually the last one from the original Yu-Gi-Oh, by the way. I'm just saying, so we're almost done here. Then we're finally gonna see some... Uh, a lot of fusions. Uh, lots of E-Heroes, because I'm gonna be dueling Jaden a lot, I'll just tell you. Since we're doing um, reverse duels, I was Jaden a lot. Now I'm going to be dueling Jaden quite a lot. So we're gonna see a lot of Elemental Heroes, which is actually great for us. Because early Elemental Heroes sucked. Like, they're so bad. Um, so, we'll actually have an easy time, I think. There's Gold Sark. Okay. You sent Wadapon. Wadapon? What the hell is wrong with you, dude? Okay, we got a new card here. We got Harpy Harpist again. Okay. This one uh, is a controlling three or more Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters. Target as many monsters you're putting controlled as possible, but not more than the total number that you control. Destroy those targets, and if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to the highest original attack of one of the destroyed monsters, you cannot special summon monsters from the main deck or extra deck, nor conduct your battle phase until you activate this card. Okay. We're gonna go with, um... Hmm... Should I just... Okay, I'm just gonna summon this. I'm gonna risk this by Harpy's Hunting Ground. I know it can be a little dangerous. Um, because you don't have any back row yet, but I gotta try this, you know? Okay, you just set that card. I don't know what the hell. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna set you. Yeah, but I, I didn't actually have Rise of the Storm Monarch. I wanted to put one in this deck because it's also a winged beast. It's a wind and winged beast, but I just wasn't able to um, get... Okay, what? Uh, that's fine. Red Gadget. I'm not gonna worry about that. And that's it? Seriously? Okay, that's actually very underpowered. Here's a new card. Hysteric Sign. When it's activated, add an elegant egotist from your deck or graveyard to your hand. During the end base, discard the Nagura because it was centered um, from the hand or field this turn. Add up to three Harpy cards with different names from each other from your deck to your hand. You can only use one Hysteric Sign effect per turn and only one stat turn. So, essentially, I mean, so it's a continuous... Um, uh, spell card, so you have to find a way to get rid of it, and it's actually pretty simple to be honest um, Especially when you combine it with things like Harpy's Hunting Ground However, I don't want to do it right now because I'm just activating this effect this first effect here So I may actually have to hold off on that um, But I can activate the effect of a card Wait, oh Okay, no, 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 I'm not doing that so, like, I can summon this thing, but that's going to pop my own car, but I can only use one. It says you can only use one effect per turn and only one stat turn. So, kind of lackluster for this turn, but next turn I'll be able to be fine, because then I can actually uh, put in some real good work. So, we're just going to give you that. Okay, you are going to bring out Wadapon, though, but I have a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, so I think I'm fine. Okay. Wait, can't you special summon it? The water pond? If it gets added to your hand outside of draw phase, can't you just bring it out right away? Or does it have to be from the deck? It, it may be. I don't know. Okay. So here's what we can do. We can pop this card. Um, I'm going to go to normal summon this Harpy Harpist. I don't even think I need a bound, so I will pop this. No. I mean, so that's 19, that's 18. Uh, that's some pretty good damage there, but again, you're not playing any back rows, so I can't really do much. This, this deck is designed to, to annihilate back row, but it's just not really working out. So here's what I'm going to do. I basically can win this duel if I do this, discard a card that I don't need, spin that back to the top, attack for with two attacks here. Because now you're about to draw that same card again, so I think you're just going to be stuck. You're just going to set and that's going to be it. I'm pretty sure. I really hope that you actually play something. Okay, so now here's what we can do here. We can do Harpy Queen. Um, wait. Okay. 
Yes. This card is so fantastic. Harpy Chan We haven't even gotten to Harpy Channeler. I guess I'm not going to be showing that off in this duel, though. Like, do you see how crazy this is? Um, we can even add Harpy's Feather Duster. That is insane. This is all we can search here. I'm going to add a regular Harpy Lady. And look at that. My hand is stacked now. My hand is completely stacked. What are you doing? Setting? Okay, well... What am I going to get here? Yeah, Harpy... Hmm. It's honestly not crazy. I think I got this. We're just going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to normal summon you. I have to destroy my own card. Unfortunately. But that's fine. I guess I should have added a Harpy's Hunting Ground. Seriously. But now we can at least do Elegant Egotist. And bring out Harpy Lady's Sisters. From the deck. Harpy Lady Sister is a card that you don't ever want in your hand. It's basically a Garnet, although it's not completely dead in the hand uh, because you can at least still bring it out with Elegant Egotist from the hand, but you don't really want to. Like, it's a waste of a draw. You'd rather have it pretty much anywhere else. Okay, and that's game. Doing a pretty good job here, but I haven't actually even used the full power of this Harpy deck. Like, obviously, I have an extra deck, so this deck is actually pretty good for what it is. Like, it's not. Amazing, but it's not bad at all. Okay, so that's it for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm moving on to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Um, so there's no reverse duel for that one, apparently. Okay, well, that's one less duel. Alright, let's do user deck. Let's actually bring out... Um, let's bring out Random, which is actually Volcanic. I totally forgot. Volcanic slash Pyro slash Burn. It's weird. It's a weird deck. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. We're gonna go... We're gonna go second. Yeah, I forgot to just name this deck. I'm not really sure why, but... Yeah... Okay. Um, uh, we're going to... Sorry, I wasn't talking there. I was, uh, looking at a message. I was getting it. Looks like an emergency, but it's not. It's all good. Okay. Um, so, the Volcanic deck is, is interesting. First of all, um, it does kind of suck sometimes when you don't get Blaze Accelerator Reload, although I do have Volcanic Rocket. Your main engine runs through Volcanic Rocket um, because when it's summoned, you get to add a Blaze Accelerator from the deck or grave out your hand. We're going to normal summon. This is going to be our normal summon. We normal summon Rocket, we activate the effect. And we add a Blaze Accelerator Reload. Blaze Accelerator Reload is honestly fantastic. It says its name becomes Tri Blaze Accelerator when this one traps them. During either player's main phase, you can send one volcanic card from your hand to the graveyard, except volcanic eruption. And <laughs> that's funny. And if you do, draw one card. You can only use its effect uh, once per turn. So the cards that you mainly want to be sending to the graveyard are going to be Shell and Scattershot. Shell says, once per turn you can pay 500 life points, add a volcanic shell from your deck to your hand. Uh, this card must be in the graveyard to activate and to resolve the effect. Cool. This one says, if this card is sent to the graveyard, inflict 500 damage to your opponent, and if this card is sent to the graveyard by the effect of a Blaze Accelerator card, you can send two volcanic scatter shots from your hand and or deck to the graveyard. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Now, you recycle these through Royal Firestorm Guards. When it's normal summon, you get to target four pyro-type monsters in your graveyard and shuffle all four into the deck and draw two. Fantastic. If you have Pot of Avarice, which I don't, it also works very well with Pot of Avarice. Um, anyway, we can't really do all that much uh, this turn because this thing is actually a trap card. So we actually, um, well, I can, okay, well, whatever. That's fine. So all we can really do this turn is a tie. We can do Raigeki, but I don't really think I need to do that. And I don't think you have a way to destroy... Do I dare? Do I dare use Raigeki? No. I mean, what is he gonna do? Get another monster and then bring out Blade Edge? He's stuck, I'm pretty sure. Um, sure, I'll activate this. So when he does anything in the main phase, I can still chain and activate this continuous trap card. It's a trap card, you know? Uh, and I can send something to the graveyard if I really wanted to and then draw a card. Here's Burstinatrix. Um, what are you actually doing with this? Oh, well, you're obviously gonna attack. 
Um, so I think I'm gonna have to actually do this here. It's still the main phase. Wait, what is this? Hold on. Much better to activate. Yeah. Here's what I'm gonna do, because with Skyscraper, this thing is gonna go to 2200, so I'm gonna die. So, what I'm going to do is activate this and then send Scattershot um, to inflict 1500 damage to you and destroy all cards, and I get to draw a card as well. This thing is amazing. We're gonna send Scattershot. Draw a card. Activate the effect. Yes. I'm gonna send these two to the graveyard. You're gonna take 1500 damage. And all your monsters are gonna blow up. And I got to draw a card on top of that, which is amazing. Volcanic Counter is another card that you do also want to have in the graveyard. It essentially inflicts uh, some decent burn damage to the opponent. So that works really well too. And now I get to do a lot of damage. This thing is amazing. This, you know, this this engine. I I'm not saying it's like. I mean, when Bliss Accelerator Reload actually came out, to be honest, it was kind of it was kind of nice. You know, for what it did. I'm gonna go ahead and send. You can send this volcanic counter as well to the graveyard um, if you want to. I'm gonna send volcanic shell so I can draw a card. Then I get to come over here, activate the effect of volcanic shell, pay 500 to add another shell from my deck to my hand. Wow. I'm also gonna normal summon this uh, solar flare dragon, and this thing is. This one doesn't actually have a hard ones per turn, right? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. During either player's main phase, you can manage this card from your graveyard, then uh, send one volcanic card from your deck to your graveyard, except... Okay, got it. We're gonna enter battle phase. And basically swing for a lot of damage, you know? 15... 19... You take 500 because Solar Flare Dragon does burn at the end of the turn. Let's see what you're bringing out. Elemental Hero Heat. Okay. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Send Counter. So Counter says that when you take battle when you take battle damage, all this card in your graveyard, banish it from the graveyard, and if there's a fire monster other than Counter, uh, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the amount of battle damage that you took. Now it is mandatory, but I'm doing it now because I basically want this duel anyway, so like it's fine. But here's, here's what's funny. Um, whoa. Crazy, right? So you took damage. Uh, he was basically at 2800 because of Skyscraper, but he takes the battle damage instead. Um, also, although, wait a minute. When you take Bandit from the Grave and there's a fire. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, yeah. I, I read something weird. Alright. So that's basically, I can just write Gaki. I mean, that, that works, you know. I'm gonna say no to that. 15, um, I can normal summon a shield, doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna attack. And that's game. There we go. 200 life points, end turn, and inflict 500, and you lost. There we go. So it was pretty simple, right? Uh, let's keep going with this. Uh, we're gonna duel Jaden again. Crazy. We're gonna do Ruse Random again. I'm also gonna uh, show the water deck one more time. Well, I mean, I don't, know about, I don't know why I said it one more time, but I'm gonna, like, go to it again, because I did make some slight changes to it, which is kind of interesting. Let's see how that works. I can also show off those structure decks again if I ever feel like using another structure deck. I definitely could. I just hate the crap cards it has, like, mechanical snail and stuff like that. Um, okay. So I will say, this deck really does not know how to get it going if you do not start with Volcanic Rocket. If you do not start with Volcanic Rocket, you're kind of screwed. Or, I guess, Blaze Accelerator Reload. Either or. Um, so we're going to go with uh, summoning a Volcanic Rocket. Sure. We're going to use the effect of Rocket to bring out Blaze Accelerator Reload. Uh, we can't really do all that much this turn. I could Harpy's Feather Duster, actually. I think I will. I mean, might as well make good use of it, right? That was a bubble shovel. That was completely useless. Okay. Going to attack. Minus 300. Let me go to main phase 2. And we're gonna set two cards. Set. Set. And turn. Okay, it's also good that I have a scatter shot in the hand. Put into a card now. Rhoda. 
Um, I will actually, I'll just flip this up, it's fine. No, I'm not gonna use the effect now. Well, let's see what you do. You are adding Clay Man, okay. The warrior returning alive. Oh, are you gonna polymerization? Do you have it? No, you don't. All right, that's probably Clay Man being set. I may want a scatter shot since that might be a Clay Man. I mean, sure, right? I guess I should do it because I mean I could also do this Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. I could do that. Um, sure. I'm gonna summon this to add another Blaze Accelerator reload. More deck thinning. No, no. Okay, add that. Sure, activate the uh, no. And then I will. You know what? Fine. Let's let's do it. Do that. Get to draw a card. Activate the effect. Yes. I'm gonna send two more. And no, no more chaining. That's gonna blow up all your monsters, and you take 15. Okay, 500, 500, oh my god. And that's about all I can do for now. We're just gonna go to battle phase and swing for 3,800 damage. We are in a good position here. But yeah, this is a fun deck engine. I mean, it's, it really is fun. It's just a shame that it's not very good because of the consistency. Again, if you don't start with Blaze Accelerator Reload or Volcanic Rocket, you're basically screwed. Like, you cannot get this deck started, you cannot get it going. Which really sucks. What are you doing? Uh, let's just go ahead and end this. Let's discard this. Spin that. No! Okay, I want this duel, I'm not showing it again. Okay, awesome, one. Stupid game, I hate this game. This garbage crashes. Let's do another one with Volcanics. Gem Knight Master Diamond. Oh, part of that stupid Gem Knight OTK thing. Okay, so you're going second. That means I'm going first. Nice. That's not... Yeah, I put Slicer in here because I just didn't know what else to put. Slicer is not a card that you want to put in the Volcanic deck. But I just didn't have a choice. I really didn't. Uh, we're just gonna set this UFO turtle, and that's gonna be it. I know I could have def definitely um, used the effect of volcanic slicer as well, you know, to do a little bit of burn damage. But it's fine. Okay. DDC. Cyber dragon. Oh my god, you have these cyber dragons, huh? Whoa. I need to read these because it's been a while since I actually played Cyber Dragon, but... I mean, I have a really good Cyber Dragon deck. I do have it. Um, I just forgot about it. So I get to special summon a monster. Um, I think I'm just going to bring out a Solar Flare Dragon, I think, because... There's a bunch of crap that I don't really need... here. Let's just go with the Solar Flare Dragon. Alright. Uh, let's see here though, because I may have to just end up crashing. Actually, I have you, but this one says you can... Hmm, it, it goes up by a thousand for each fire monster. Well, actually, I could just monster reborn. For each face up, fire monster. Monster on the, f on the field, except this. Okay, so Dre says, When it's normal summon, you can make all cyber dragon. You can really control become level 5. You can also put this on many monsters. Okay, this card is banished. You can, okay. We're going to normal summon you. Then we're gonna Monster Reborn, believe it or not, into UFO Turtle, because that will actually get me enough attack. There we go. Then we're going to enter Battle Phase. And basically unleash on you. Ultimate Baseball Kid is such a fun card. Like, with just having two monsters, two other monsters, that are fire, it starts to become a massive beat stick, and it even has the effect of tributing um, to inflict damage. You can send one other, I mean, it's not tributing, you send it to the grave, almost the same thing. 
So, and it's not a once per turn, so at the end you can just tribute all of their fires in itself to inflict damage to the opponent. You know, and with Solar Flare Dragon, that's another 500. It's actually pretty freaking good. Like, the combo. Another Dray, okay, um... We're gonna attack. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, control their Pyro on my turn. Oh, they're not Pyro? Oh, I'm such an idiot. I thought they were Pyro. Dang it. Well, that's fine. Well, obviously I have to summon another, uh... Another, uh, fire. I don't even have enough targets for it, so I'm just gonna summon you. There you go, and that's actually gonna be game. I actually won this one through, uh... A beat stick. Through pure beatdown tactics, you know? I do 18... 14, and I could have even tributed for another 1500 damage this turn if I really wanted to, but there we go. And we are doing. Wait, wait, what the heck? Yes, that. Okay. These are dead. We're gonna do one more duel uh, with Volcanics before we move on to something else. Also, I'm gonna make these videos around like 40 something minutes, a little bit longer than usual. Uh, just because I'm trying to get through this as fast as possible, even if you've already seen plenty of this Let's Play, I'm already up to beyond part 80, which is insane. Um, so that's why. In case you're wondering, that's why. Alright. Plus, I'm only going to be uploading probably one video of this per day, you know? Uh, we are going to... As much as I just want to summon Solar Flare Dragon, I know I shouldn't do that. It might be dumb. We're going to set UFO Turtle and just end turn. That's all we can do. I wanted to be a little, you know, get a little sneak of 500 damage in there, but it's a little greedy. Graceful Charity. Okay. Pot of... Wow, this guy. Oh, this guy. Monster Reborn Oxygedon. Or Ox Oxygedon, my bad. Tributing for... What the hell? Duotarion. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, there goes my UFO turtle. Yes. I'm gonna bring out another one. I only have two UFO turtle, by the way. Which sucks, but... Oh, well. Yes. I'm gonna bring out... I guess I should bring another... What, solar Flare Dragon? Not really much else would help here. I want oh, there's other stuff I want to keep in the deck because I want them in the hand, preferably. We'll see. I don't know if I can actually do anything here. Uh, I mean, I can harpy spare dust to your back row, but then I'm kind of stuck here. Ooh, that is not what I wanted to top deck. That is not what I wanted to do. Jeez, this actually looks kind of bad. Uh, we are going to Harpy's Feather Dust here to see what we can at least pop. Mirror Force and MST, wow. Um, well, I can actually do that loop thing. But, um, you know, if you do two of these... They're both Pyro, so you can't attack me. Uh, I know I can also XC summon. You can discard this card, add one bomb, whatever, it's normal summon, you can uh, target one of those, special summon it. Okay. Uh, so in terms of my list here, I mean, I have a couple options. I could even, let's see, you can detach one piece of this card and target one piece of monster on the field, change it to face in the best position. You can detach two and target one other piece of card and pull shuffle it into the deck. So I could either two to shuffle it into the deck or change it to face in the best position. Um, I could also just attack with it. I can do that. I even have Sunlight Wolf on, that's funny. I guess I can go into Castell because then I can send that one back in. Then I can attack. I could also just keep the loop here and keep burning you. This might be stupid, but um, I'll just keep it like this. Let's see if this works. So I'm going to burn you for a thousand and you cannot attack either of these because I have two pyros. Now can you get through this? I don't know. Hydrogadon, wow. And phase. Um, okay, sure, I guess. We can normal summon ultimate baseball kid. 
I guess that's not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and do a normal summon here. Sure. And we're gonna enter battle phase. I'm gonna blow up um, this one. There we go. Now we're gonna end a turn. I'm gonna flick another 1000, so time is ticking, dude. Time is totally ticking. You are taking that burn damage like crazy. Oh, you got the dark hole. You top deck that dark hole, huh? All right, what else you got? Oxygaton. Okay. I mean, my hand isn't exactly suitable for this. I can tie. I don't know if I want to crash into you with this volcanic slicer. Oh, or I can get the fissure. I will take that fissure. Okay, we're gonna summon this volcanic slicer. Swing for another 18, your life points are dwindling. I mean, I already burned you for 2,000 with Solar Flare Dragon, so... That's pretty good, down to 3,500. And... let's see what I get here. Alright, based on defense. That's pretty good. Royal Firestorm Guards. Oh, I'm gonna want to do this. One, two, three, four. So it works for fire or pyro? Pyro machine. It's pyro. So I can't actually do much with that, unfortunately. I can send you to the graveyard, I guess. Uh, th this little guy. I mean, sure. Let's attack you. We have to attack. Okay, that's fine. Hydrogadon is a little scary because um, it can storm the field. Well, but you already have two in the graveyard, I think, so I think we're fine in this duel. Summoner Monk. Okay, so it can't attack me. It's going into defense. But you can discard a spell to... Ooh, okay. You might attack the face on defense, which is actually perfectly fine by me. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, wait, wait, can it not attack? Hold on. Oh, yeah, but it cannot attack. That's right. Um, okay, so there's not a whole lot that I can do still. I can't recycle with you. I'll just keep it like that. We gotta, um... Hmm, Oxygenon is gonna be kind of a problem there. I think I'm fine like this, actually. I don't really need to go into the uh, extra deck. Because I'll keep it like that. And, and turn. You cannot attack Solar Flare Dragon because I do hold another Pyrotype. You can destroy the shell, but if you do that, it'll give me so much advantage. So I'll gladly take that. It's a Kabazals. Okay. You are attacking. There's a shell going down. I, I love to see that. Oh, and you're crashing. Okay, we both take 800. Because that's uh, Oxygadon's effect. We've gone to 22. This is basically unless you mirror force me. But I already... No, it should be fine. I think it's fine. Here's Wildfire. Uh, pay by your life points. Destroy a phase of a blaze accelerator card, which I don't have. And then you do a bunch of crazy stuff. I'm just going to normal summon uh, Royal Firestorm Guards. I want to shuffle in... Oh, I should have added a shell first. God damn it. Oh no. That was definitely a misplay. I think I was supposed to add a shell first by paying 500, but I didn't. Oh well. It's fine. Okay, that um could give me the game, more than likely. We're gonna try it. We're gonna do right Gaki here. Bam! I'm not gonna summon with Monster Reborn, because if I get punished, and I want to make sure that I can at least have some... Okay, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it's not going to really do anything. Just except give you a turn, but you are taking 500 damage. Wabaku does not stop burn damage from card effects. Only battle damage. Dude, what are you doing? Defense mode? Okay, uh, sure, whatever. Whatever, right? Um, I have this Volcanic Queen. Tributing one monster opponent controls. If this special summoned 
If you special summon this card, you can only summon yourself down. Once, once per turn, you can summon one other card and inflict thousand during your base trader. Tribute one other monster or take a thousand damage. This thing is actually so funny, and maybe I should do this. You know what? Just so I can show you. I'm gonna use the effect. Um to get rid of so here's the thing, I can put you in defense mode. Fine, I'll just end a duel. As as funny as it was, or as it would be, you know, to go with the burn effect, I can already just win like this by just attacking like that. And tributing would guarantee me knowing the monster, which is why I did that. That's it. Alright, then we can do one more duel in this video, we just gotta hurry this up. Um, okay, we're gonna do that. User deck. One more with Volcanic, actually. I was gonna go to a new deck, but I mean, it's the end of this video. Let's just finish up with Volcanic. Next time, we'll probably go back into water. And then we'll just kind of go from there. We may resort back to a duel with some structure decks. You know, it's just hard to build a lot of decks because I don't have most cards. Getting every card in this game is ridiculous in how much grinding it would actually take. Okay. We're going to, um, we're actually going to do this first, because I don't want to draw another reload from Pot of Greed. I'd rather deck thin first. Okay. And then we're going to do Pot of Greed. Draw two. Set one. And end turn. Got it. Okay, I'm just going to flip this up. The emergency call. I'm not going to do anything yet. Um, I actually will just do this right now. Uh, might as well. There you go. Just to get to draw and then, you know, get go for another shell and then draw again next turn. You could do that. Setting. Setting. Okay. Not bad, not bad. That's what I get here. Got a slicer. Um, I think I will go ahead and do this again. I mean... Actually, wait, what am I doing? Sorry. I'm gonna do this first. Activate shell. Pay 500 to add a shell. Mm hmm And then... Use this to send it to the graveyard, and then draw another. This thing can plus so easily. Ooh, and I got scatter shot. That'll be nice for later. Uh, we are going to. Um, we're just gonna normal summon this UFO turtle. And we're gonna try to punch in here. Let's do this. That is a clay man. Um. Well. I know I can wildfire, but I'm not actually going to do that. I'll just let it be. It's fine, it's fine. Are you going to tribute? I'm actually curious about this a little bit here. No, we're just setting. Okay. Now, uh, one thing I should have done, I guess, was wildfire, but... No, not really. I don't need to do that. What am I talking about? For the end of the main phase, activate the effect of a card. Um, yes, I will actually do... Wait, sorry. that. I'm going to say yes for Scattershot. Send both. Do some more deck thinning. Destroy all your monsters and you take 1500 damage. What a great combo. What a fantastic combo. All right. The only thing that really screws this up <laughs> is if you actually do have something crazy back there. Um, we'll have to see. Do you play Mirror Force? I actually don't know if you do. Um, and if you do, that could easily wipe me out. I mean, Yugi did obviously a lot in the other ones, but I don't know about this one here. And you do, of course. Of course it's that, right? I'm not even mad, because, I mean, I knew that should have happened. I just wasn't sure if this guy actually ran it, because if the answer was yes, he ran it, then we knew for 100% sure that was a Mirror Force. I just wasn't sure if he did run it. Um, I think we're fine. Okay, end turn. Sure. I'm telling you. If you don't believe this, it's rigged. I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know how to help you. 
you know? Uh, we'll... No, I don't need to do that. What am I talking about? Like, it's very obvious. It is very obvious that this is actually manipulated for RNG. Like, it's crazy how easy you can see. That's just the AI's favorite card. They want Mirror Force to get Mirror Force, you know? Alright. Now we're just gonna... I mean, there's a dark hole there. I don't really have any good... I'll have to do this here. Here in the sand. Sure. Send all four of those back in there. No. Shuffle. Draw two. Oh, I got, oh, I got that. Wow, okay. Should I just blow up your freaking monster then? I mean, I probably should. We could even do this if we wanted to. We can monster reborn into a rocket. To then get another search here. Yes. No, 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 no. God damn it, all these freaking chains and or like prompts are coming up. I don't wanna do it. Alright, now we're just gonna we're gonna set one. I guess we'll just set the other. Cause the wildfire destroys all monsters on the field. That's kind of the problem with this here right now. They didn't really want to do that. I didn't need to do that, but unbelievable. <laughs> Don't you just love this, people? Isn't this just so amazing? Oh my god. Okay, well here's what I'm doing. I'm obviously gonna set this then. God, this Konami, at least make it less obvious. Like, I'm sure you want to make it less obvious that it's rigged in that way. You know? Like, come on. You're so freaking... I just can't. I, I just can't with Konami sometimes. Sometimes they're like, yeah, we, we don't even care. We're just going to put it out there and you'll easily see, but who cares? Like, fine, you do you. Seriously, you do you. Um, We're going to do... No, we don't need to do that right now. It's fine. What are you doing? Bringing something? What you bringing? Oh, you're bringing Flame Wingman. That's kind of nice. It's pretty neat, I would say. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say no right now. Okay, we'll actually go ahead and do this here. Pay 500. Do not chain. Destroy that, destroy all monsters, and I get to special summon a token with a thousand attack. But I cannot conduct my battle phase this turn, but that's fine because it was the opponent's turn anyway. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna uh, put this up like that, sure. That's fine. We're also gonna normal summon here. Enter battle phase. And we're going to deal 2,500. Alright, well, I mean, I guess he's out of Mirror Forces. You know, oh yes, Jaden's iconic Mirror Force card. The one, you know, you know that one card he played all the time in the anime, Mirror Force? Yup. He even ran two copies in the anime of Mirror Force. Like, that was crazy. Like, Yugi just had one, but Jaden had two copies of Mirror Force in the anime. And he used it, like, all the time. Like, this... This is actually very accurate to what happened in the anime. He would always use Mirror Force. Freaking Jaden. Alright, yes, we got this. Cool, and yeah, we're done. Alright, so before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all next later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.